Hey everybody, I'm James Melzer for Movie Web, and today we're reviewing Sting. Roxanne. Not that Sting, this Sting. <laughs> In the annals of horror cinema, few films about spiders have really resonated with audiences. Arachnophobia from 1990 and Eight-Legged Freaks from 2002 are two films that most people can name off the top of their head. But beyond that, the arthropods have mainly been delegated to forgettable schlock theater and straight-to-DVD releases. Enter Kia Roach Turner, the Australian director behind Wormwood has breathed new life into the creature feature with his fresh take on the giant spider in his new movie, Sting. You called about the noises in your walls, right? Oh, no, 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 not me. By blending practical effects, a claustrophobic setting, and old-fashioned family drama, he's created a horror movie that doesn't take itself too seriously, while at the same same time providing enough scares and laughter to make the audience feel like they just got off a fun amusement park ride. Sweet Jesus, what the hell happened to it? Rats. Now, the premise behind Sting is of course completely absurd. An asteroid cluster passes by Earth, thus sending tiny meteors falling to the ground that contain extraterrestrial spiders. One of these projectiles crashes through the window of a Brooklyn apartment building and into a dollhouse. Giving birth to the spider will follow for the rest of the movie. One of the main characters, Charlotte, played by Elila Brown, finds the spider, takes the little critter and gives it a home in a mason jar, names her Sting after the elven blade Bilbo finds in The Hobbit, and learns to communicate with it by way of a whistle that signifies the spider is hungry. Cool. The creature feature does a great job introducing us to all sorts of colorful characters that populate the Brooklyn apartment building where the movie takes place. Its underlying arc of familial relationships, especially that between Charlotte and her stepfather Ethan, played by Ryan Core, adds a lot of heart to the film and gives the audience something to invest in other than the havoc wrecked by the spider over the course of the movie. Every time I try and connect, she takes two steps back. Is it the perfect film? No. <laughs> But boy, is it fun. Though the humor can feel a little misplaced at times and the dialogue gets a little choppy and cliche, Sting is an excellent throwback to creature films of yesteryear that delivers excellent practical effects from Weta Workshop. That's your spider? Wrapped around an emotional core that only adds to its sustainability. Sting hits theaters on April 12th from WellGo USA Entertainment. I'm James Melzer for MovieWeb. We'll see you again next time.